Hey there, Joel at Earth Tools here. We're going to walk through an air cleaner service on a uh, walk behind tractor engine. And this, this maintenance procedure pretty much goes for most small engines on the market today, gas or diesel. All these engines have air cleaners and they all need to be serviced. So, this is a Honda engine on old BCS 853. Expose the thing here. Somebody else will get the phone. So if that's you calling right now, Joel's not going to get it. So anyway, this is a this is kind of a typical small engine filter setup where you've got a a two-stage air cleaner. Two-stage meaning there's a foam outer wrap and then a paper inside or a, a paper pleated element in here. Now the the job of the foam filter is to stop most of the dust before it gets into the paper. And the only way the foam can effectively do this is if the foam is actually oiled. This, this is designed to be slightly oil wetted. And this particular tractor, which has come in here for service, um, was owned by somebody who apparently didn't know that because this, this foam is dry as paper. Well, it's dry as popcorn, whatever. Well, some popcorn's not dry. Um, but in this case, the dust would have gone right through this thing. So it's fortunate that it didn't get used much in this condition. Uh, this paper is pretty new, so I'm not going to replace this. Now, normally when you take this thing off, or even if you just pull the air cleaner cover off and expose this, you'll sometimes see as much as a quarter inch of dirt built up on the outside of the foam. And that's great. That means the foam is doing its job. So you would just slip the foam up off. You don't even have to remove the paper. You can just slip the foam off of the outside and bang the paper on something, and, or I'm sorry, bang the foam on something and get the big dust off. And then, uh, it's a good idea to wash it out. Now this has already been cleaned, so I'm not going to have to do that now, but if I wanted to wash this, I could wash it either in gasoline or in a strong detergent solution like dish detergent and water. If you're using water and soap, you have to make sure this is completely dry before you re-oil it. Uh, so you can towel it out and let it sit in the sun or blow it out with an air compressor a little bit. But right now this has already been cleaned and dried, so I'm going to re-oil it. But before I do that, I'm going to talk a little about the paper filter. And if dust gets into the paper filter, which it will eventually, um, there's a couple different ways to clean some of it out. Uh, one is just to bang it against a hard object and let the dirt fall out of it. The other is to use an air compressor, but you have to be really careful when you're using an air compressor to, to clean a paper filter. Because the paper pores, if you think about it, the paper is made of layers of fiber essentially and the, the, the layers are kind of cross hatched over each other. They put different layers of paper in there. So you've got these little holes, uh, you know, looking microscopically at the paper. And if you take an air compressor nozzle and which is, you know, an average air compressor is something like 100 pounds per square inch uh, and you put that right up against that paper fabric and blow it, of course I haven't hooked up the, the air gun yet, but if you do this and squeeze the trigger and blow a bunch of air through there, you'll probably get big clouds of dust that come out of the filter and you'll think, oh, I've done a great job cleaning my filter. But, and you have in a sense, but what you've also done is you've forced 100 PSI air pressure through these little pores and you've spread those pores open. You've kind of pushed the paper fibers apart. So in the process of cleaning your filter, you've also ruined your filter because you've made the pores in the paper larger than what they used to be. So now when you put your filter back on and dust hits the filter, well, some of it just goes right through. So your engine gets worn out prematurely because you cleaned your filter a little too well. So if you want to avoid that, never put your air compressor nozzle closer than about four inches away from the paper. That allows the air to kind of diffuse before it gets there. So something like this would be acceptable. This is not acceptable. You never want to get that nozzle anywhere closer than four inches to the paper fabric. Uh, I recommend changing these paper filters every two to three years regardless because even if you keep the foam filter uh, oiled and cleaned regularly, which I do on my own tractor probably half a dozen times a year, uh, eventually the paper fabric will just decompose over time because it is paper and it's sensitive to moisture and everything else. So these things need to be replaced eventually. So I'm going to oil this now and this is just regular motor oil in an old recycled bottle. So what I'm going to do is just kind of goo some on here, maybe a tablespoon or so, and I'm going to squeeze it around really good. 
I want to have that oil kind of evenly distributed through the paper foam, or not paper foam, I keep saying that, through the foam. And that looks good. Look, there's still a dry spot there, so I'm going to work that in a little more. Looks nice and evenly wetted. That's great. I've got that worked through there really well. Now as the final, I'm going to ball it up inside of a rag or a paper towel and wick off any excess moisture. You don't want too much on there. But the, what's left on there, that little oil film, is incredibly effective at stopping the dust. It'll stick right to that oil and then the next piece of dust will stick to that and it'll just build up on the outside. I've taken off filters that are properly oiled and they can have a quarter inch, three eighths of an inch of dust on the outside and on the inside of the foam, it's perfectly clean because nothing came through there and the paper is still clean then too. Now one note about Honda engines, uh, and this is particular, this is, this is something that I've noticed on Hondas more than any other. At the bottom of this filter base, there's a little rubber gasket right here. Uh, and sometimes when you remove this filter, the rubber gasket sticks to the filter. This has become a, this has been a real problem in the past because people, if it sticks on there, they just say it's, it's you know, their filter's a couple years old, they want to change it, they throw the whole filter away. The new filter does not come with this. So they put it in there and they put the thing back together and run the engine. And the engine wears out in about a year because it's sucking a whole bunch of dirt through this crack down here where there's no rubber gasket. The, gas, the dirt will go right around through, through under here and straight into the engine. So this can destroy your engine, or the lack of it rather. So again, this does not come with a new filter for a Honda engine. You have to make sure to take it off the old filter if it was on the old filter, because sometimes they get stuck there, and put it back on the engine. Uh, in this case, it stayed in place, which is fine, but uh, a word of the wise. So, put this all back together. And some, some air filters, like on some of the diesel engines, don't have a foam pre-cleaner, so you don't have to worry about that. Um, but you still have to do the filter maintenance of knocking them out and blowing it off from a distance with an air, with a, uh, air compressor or something like that. So this thing's ready to go. In high dust environments, uh, or when you're doing a lot of rotary mowing, it's kicking up a lot of dust. I mean, it's not uncommon to clean that thing uh, a dozen times a year. And again, cleaning it could just consist of sliding the, the foam pre-filter off, knocking it on something. And as long as it, the inside of the foam pre-cleaner still looks uh, clean, as in there's not dirt coming through to the inside of the foam, and as long as it still has some tackiness to it. If you can feel, still feel a little oil wetness, put it back on and run it. But if it's feeling dry, time to wash it out and re-oil it. Can't find the hole here. There we go. All right. Now you're ready to go back to work. This con that concludes this segment. Thanks.